Our story begins as we see SpongeBob outside waiting for the mailman to arrive. I'm waiting for the mail. I'm waiting for the mail. Hi ho the Dario. I'm waiting for the mail. Oh hey there, Gary. I didn't see you behind there. Oh, what am I doing out here? Oh, I'm waiting for the mail. The mailman's supposed to come here with my Super Ultra magazine collection. I ordered 20 magazines and he's supposed to be here in the next 3 seconds or so. Any second now, Gary. The mailman's gonna be here in 3, 2, 1. Wait a minute, the mailman's supposed to be here by now. What's taking him so long? Uh, he's probably still out there trying to sort the mail out. Well, I guess I'll wait for another hour. But by the meantime, we're gonna be having fun, Gary. So Gary, do you have any kings on you? Nope. Any queens? Any jacks? Any jokers? Come on Gary, let's go out for a walk. Maybe that'll make bring the mailman over here. Come on Mario, jump over the warp pipe, we're almost to the ending of the level. No, well, watch out for that pit! Oh god, I died again! Uh, this game is so frustrating! Gary, it's been four hours, and guess what? The mailman hasn't arrived yet! What is taking him so long? Uh, I hope he didn't cancel my subscription! Uh, I've never waited it this long for the mailman to arrive, and I swear if he canceled my subscription to magazines, I'm gonna cuss out the P.O. Box manager! Uh, take this! Well, girls, I have to go down to the post office myself and talk to the manager about why the mailman didn't show up today. Well, I want you to stay here and be on your best behavior, okay? I'll see you in a few hours. Let's pray to Neptune that they didn't cancel my subscription of magazines. Um, excuse me, sir, are you the manager here at this post office? Why, yes I am, sir. What's to be the problem? Uh, what's to be the problem? Well, the name is Spongebob Squarepants, if you want to know. Well, today, I was supposed to get a subscription of a magazine that was supposed to come by today. Uh, yeah, what about him? They didn't come today. Where's the mailman? I'd like to speak to him. Uh, the mailman? Yeah, uh, he's in the other room. But why is he there? He's supposed to be out doing his job. Well, he's sick, Spongebob. What? What do you mean he's sick? Well, Spongebob, the mailman has a serious illness known as fish pepidoma. What the heck is fish pepidoma? Um, it's a type of illness that causes projectile vomiting, lots of high fever, diarrhea, and glass and bloating. Okay, but when he's gonna feel better? I'm not sure. He said the doctor said he'll be feeling better by the next week or so, so I think we have to cancel the subscription until the next week. I can't wait till the next week! My subscription is today! Well, we're postponing it to next week. You better not postpone it, or else I'm gonna take that cash register and hurl it across the room! May I please speak to the mailman? Well, but he's sleeping right now. I don't care, I wanna speak to him. Well, alright, fine. Do it yourself then, because I'm not fixing to let you throw a tantrum to the cancel your subscription for next week. I paid over $99 off of magazines, and I want them now. Well, go out there and talk to the mailman then. Good, I'll be happy to. There you are, Mr. Mailman. What happened? Ugh. Look, kid, I'm really sick right now. I have fish pepidoma, and I don't want to spread this disease. Uh, look, I'm here to let you know that I've been waiting for four hours for you to bring the mail, because I have a subscription to magazines. Yes, I got your subscription to magazines, but I'm really sick right now, so I can't deliver it till, like, next week or so. But, so what, we, we're gonna go through a whole week without mail? Pretty much, yes, kid. But that sucks! Um, why not I deliver the mail? Uh, you can't do that, kid. You need to go to college for that. Oh, come on, Mr. Mailman, you don't need college to deliver mail. It's not as easy as it is, kid. To scan packages, you need to sort the mail to see who it belongs to, and you need to learn how to drive a mail truck. Do you know how to drive a mail truck? Uh, I don't have a license, sir. See? That's why you need an education to become a mailman. But I can ride a bicycle, I can put on a cap, mail bag, and I can deliver mail through a bicycle. Look, kid, I don't think you can do the job. I'm sorry, you have to wait till next week for your mail. Uh, kid, why are you spinning around like a ballerina? <laughs> Mail Bob Delivery Pants here. Don't worry, Mr. Mailman. I'll be happy to deliver every single mail here in Bikini Bottom, including my house, too. Are you, so are you telling me, kid? You're gonna go to every single house here in Bikini Bottom to deliver the mail all by yourself? No help? Yes, right, sir. I'm a master at riding the bicycle. Alright, kid. I wish you very good luck. Now, can you please leave? I'm really sick. Oh, don't worry. I got one more question. What is it? Where's the bicycle at? 
There's a bicycle right behind the back. All right, thank you. Count me luck. Yeah, I'll count you all the luck indeed. <laughs> Mail Bob delivery pants open for business. Arrived at your very first house. Uh, hello? Good afternoon, sir. Oh, Bob, you repeat, sir, with all your mail. You want me to go sort through your mail? Uh, who are you? I told you, mail Bob delivery pants. I'm the mailman. Oh, yeah, mail. I was supposed to get mail today, huh? Um, I ordered a subscription magazine. Um, do you know where it is? Uh, I ordered subscription magazines too, but what magazine is it? It's a magazine about, um, it's a catalog magazine. You a catalog magazine? But seriously, seriously, who are you? I told you I'm Mailbox Delivery Pants. I don't know who Mailbox Delivery Pants is, but I want my catalog magazine. Yes, sir, one catalog magazine coming right up. Alright sir, here you go, your catalog magazine. Why well, thank you, Mail Bob Delivery Pants. That was really kind of you. Uh no problem. Well I must be ready to be going, because I got the other bills to deliver. Guess I'll talk to you later. Peace out. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Uh yeah. Okay, Mail Bob Delivery Pants. It's time for you to deliver your second batch of mail. Well this should be a piece of cake. Um, hello? Did anybody answer my door? Uh, SpongeBob, what are you doing here in my house? Oh my goodness, Mr. Spongebob, you're huge! What do you expect, SpongeBob? I'm a puffer fish, of course I'm huge! What are you doing in my house? Um, it's Mail Bob delivery pants to you, ma'am. Um, the mailman is sick today, so I'm out here replacing his job. I didn't know the mailman was sick, so why are you delivering the mail then? I told you, he is sick, so I'm gonna be a replacement for him. Um, did you order any mail? Uh, yeah, my, my check from the bank. It's supposed to be delivered to me. Uh, so you got a bank check? Yes, I've been wondering where it was. Um, it must be inside this bag. So I'll, be, I'll be happy to give you the bank check. Well, good. But I need that check because it's really important. But I paid my house bill and my bill is raising up because my husband can't stop turning on the lights all the time. Yeah, I don't need to know about your family business. Uh, Mrs. Puff, I found this letter. Is this your bank check? Did you read who it's from? Um, it says Mrs. Puff. Then it's my bank check then. Hand it over, SpongeBob. Uh, okay, okay. And for the last time, it's Mail Bob Delivery Pen. I don't care! Give him my bank check! Uh, okay, fine, here, take it. Alrighty then. I might as well open up this mail to see much how much the bank owes me. Oh, hope it's not way too expensive. Oh, I can't believe what I'm seeing! Amount paid $900. Bank check $900. Bank total due $1,800. I don't have that kind of money. I can't afford it! I don't have time for your little drama, but I must be going to deliver the last bit of this mail. So I'll talk to you later. Peace out. Can't believe I owe the bank $1,800? Oh, I'm going to kill my husband! Mail Bob delivery, pants delivery, pants delivery. Mail Bob delivery, pants delivery, pants delivery. <gasps> Frick! Sorry, babe, somebody's at the door, so I'll have to go out there and check it. Take your time. <laughs> Alright, who are you? What do you want? And it better be quick. <gasps> Sir, why are you naked? Why am I naked? I was in the bed making out with my girlfriend until I got interrupted by you. Oh my god, I can't put some clothes on! No, I'm not putting any clothes on. I'm suggesting that you should leave. I am Mel Bob Delivery Pants, delivering mail, and I can't. No, sir. No, 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 no. I can't take this anymore. I, 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 I quit. I quit the job. Uh, I quit. Oh, jeez. I don't care if you guys don't get any mail. After seeing that guy naked, I cannot deliver any more mail. I'm out of here. My God. Well, I don't know what the heck was that all about. Him taking off his hat and leaving the back here. Doesn't have to found out me naked. All right, babe. He's gone now. I'm coming back in. All right. I got the bed nice and warm. Did you say you got the bed nice and warm? Oh, I'm coming in. Here's Johnny. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs>
So, Mr. Mailman, how are you feeling? I'm feeling a whole lot better now. After I slept for about an hour or so, I think my fish meningitis has finally left off. Well, I'm so happy to hear that. Well, are you thinking you're willing to deliver the mail? Yep, I'm about to hop into my truck right now. <laughs> I quit. Oh, hey there, SpongeBob, you're back. Um, what's up with the angry face? Are you feeling okay, lad? I'm never, ever being mail bob delivery pants ever again as long as I live. I can't believe what my eyes just saw! Whoa, SpongeBob, calm down, Glad. What's to be the problem? What's the problem? I'll tell you exactly what happened. After I left the post office, I went straight to the suburban part of Bikini Bottom where most of the houses are. And I delivered the first two set of mails, right? One to a stranger and one to my dear teacher, Mrs. Puck. And then when I went to the third house, in front of me, a cold-blooded naked man with his dingling all out. Whoa, SpongeBob, calm down. Did you notice I'm feeling better? Good for you, Mr. Mailman. Good for you. I'm glad that you're feeling better. Now I'm gonna let you two off with a warning. You guys got the end of this evening to come by my house with my subscription box of magazines or I'm gonna ask my friend Sandy to come here and bulldoze down this whole post office until it collapses right in front of your faces. Whoa, SpongeBob, you really need to calm down. No, after seeing that naked person, I haven't been the same. I'm going home now. Remember my deed? Come with my subscription to magazines, or else this whole post office will be bulldozed. Uh, I'm so angry. You hear that, Craig? You got until this evening to give someone a subscription of, of magazines. Yeah, man, because I don't want this place to be bulldozed. But what if he does bulldoze it? We're going to call the police on him, and he'll take him to jail. Oh, yeah, that's a good thing. Come on, let's go into my mail truck and deliver it to him. Alright, Craig, you got some $1 subscriptions to magazines in the back of the truck? Indeed I do. Now let's get out of here. Alright, let's go on over to his house and deliver it to him. Well, Gary, I'm about this close to losing my patience with these people delivering my package. They got until three minutes. Well, 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 look who decided to show up. You guys saw my subscription box with my magazine? Oh... For he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow, where nobody can deny, where nobody can deny, where nobody can deny, for he's a jolly good fellow, where nobody can deny, where nobody can deny, deny. Bye bye. Well, Gary. <gasps> oh my goodness, Gary, we did it! This is the full collection of my subscription magazine. Oh my goodness, this is amazing! I guess delivering those meals really did pay off. Well, Gary, I like to stay in chat, but I'm gonna read all of these magazines. I don't care if I stay up till the day of dawn. This is the best day ever! Oh, by the way, Gary, <laughs> you're gonna be sleeping outside, because I'm gonna be staying up all night reading these magazines, and I do not want any disturbance. Good night, Gary. I guess I'll see you in the morning. <laughs>